Hi, I'm B-Boy Bill and this is the Crosscomb Repair. If you remember last week's video when we did our first inspection, remember the Hive 8 is looking perfect. The comb is right where we want it. The bees are happy, going crazy in there. Hive B on the other hand, significant cross comb problem. One of the challenges with going foundationless is getting the bees to build the comb where you want them to. Now I did everything I could when I built this. I put in a starter strip here, just a piece of wood, and I covered it with wax so that the bees would have a nice surface to start on. But these bees had a mind of their own and they started building right on the edges. So today, we're gonna to take this apart. We're gonna cut that comb off and we're gonna to attempt to center it back up in the frame using some rubber bands and put the hive back together. I gotta to be honest, I've never done this before and I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out. But thankfully, my friend Jim, the veteran beekeeper, he'll be here today along with my friend Mark for moral support. not hanging today. Well, let me, uh, before you grab that, let's put a, I think we could put a couple rubber bands over it and then it'll be all ready for, if you think that will. Oh, you're gonna use the same frame. Okay, you got that for one second. Yeah. And given how tall this stuff is, I think you're need, going to need a third one, really. Oh. Well, the only thing is, you know, I don't think I want it over this, do you? Oh. Because oh. then it'll change the uh, gap between them. You want to try holding it now, and I'll yeah. try cutting it? I wonder if we could angle it just a little bit more like this. Makes it easier for me to get in there. Okay. Now... Yeah. See how far away it is now from the yeah. top. Can you just scratch that one and throw it out? Yeah, yeah well, the problem is we, we got to all we got to get get it all fixed somehow. Yeah, but not with me. Jam it through the middle of the cone. You know, I saw this guy using two dowels to kind of like grip it. It really looked like a really good idea now. Yeah. That I'm looking at this. That's creative and works. What do you think? Give it a try? Sure. <laughs> oh, hold that one second. Maybe I can. Stick the other one in here. What side was up? Had to be like this. I don't know what they're gonna do with it, but if anything, they can rob it out. Um, actually, we got a bunch. Definitely take this one off at least. Back in, I don't know. They'll either fix it or they won't, I guess. Well, the good news is we experimented and we didn't hurt the queen. <laughs> but where we go from here, I don't know. <laughs> well, I can go modify one of these frames real quick and we can see if we can put that other thing on. I don't know if these are nurse bees in here or what they're. Well, I guess they'll just be right there, like that. I'll find their way home already. 
I was thinking if they're nurse bees, they might not be able to fly, you know. So we went ahead and modified the frames with some extra dowels in them that you can see here. Hopefully this will allow us to support the comb better. Frame of a comb. Not sure which. Okay. Boy, th this is a little tricky. Before you go across, yeah. how about we go down the side here because we're attached on the side. So maybe we got to turn the frame sideways enough for you to be able to do that. Good job. Okay, now do a little bit on here. Here it comes. Oh, it's heavy. Set this back down here. I put maybe one more on, but it's up to you. It doesn't want to stay in there. Yeah, you're, you're making a better job out of this than I thought. Spoke too soon. Shoot. Let's try this one. Alright, we're gonna hold the bottom. We'll open the first one. Okay. I'll get this top one open. Okay. Shoot. Flip it. No. It just doesn't wanna. Band. Right over the whole thing. Okay, okay. no, right up there. Yeah, right up. That's there. That's good. Damn. Yeah, the top isn't. It's just not tight enough. bad but something This I think is an empty one. Oh, let's get that on. Well, the cross comb repair did not go exactly as I planned. Not even close to what I planned. But I definitely gained a lot of insight. We'll be taking another look at Hive B here in another week and see how the cross comb repair did and see exactly what the bees did with it. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please click the subscribe button.